What's going on everybody? Today's video I just wanted to make um, a quick one. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to import LiDAR data uh, from a LAS or LAZ file into Civil 3D. Uh, not too long ago uh, Autodesk made a change in, in the software where you can't just bring those files in directly. So the new workflow is you actually have to take your last file into recap. If you have the AEC suite, that shouldn't be a problem because recap is actually sold with your package. So once you take it into recap and export a RCP file, you're then able to bring it into Civil 3D. And the way you're gonna do that is you're gonna go into the insert tab here. You're gonna go ahead and click attach. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, this file. And so what, what Recap does is it actually makes it a three kilobyte file, even though there's millions of points on this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit open on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it zoom to the point cloud. And so there's our point cloud. And, and when I zoom in, you can see, I mean, there are millions and millions of points on this. So now obviously I wanna create a surface from this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my home tab here. I'm going to go surfaces and I'm going to create a surface from a point cloud. It's going to have me select the point cloud and it's going to bring up this dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a name, uh, you know, existing ground, one, two, three, four. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give it a style. I'm going to hit next and this is where it gets uh, pretty interesting. So we could see there is 57 million points in this um, point cloud. The distance is 0 0.04 feet. So about half an inch, every half an inch. So typically in when we send out a traditional survey crew, we're going to do 25 foot grids, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set the distance to 25 feet and we can see now there's only 17,000 points that it's going to create the surface off of. Now I'm going to go ahead and create the surface um, and then we're going to see that it's probably not enough detail. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Another thing we can do is we could filter. Um, hopefully the LAS or LAZ files you're getting is just the terrain and, and this wouldn't matter. Um, but if it did, here's some explanations on... Um, you know what what you would want it to do i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at planar i'm gonna tell it to create the surface it says it's gonna process those thousands of points in the background and then once it's done we'll see contours pop up and there we go so i'm gonna go ahead and unload and there we see that's definitely not not enough detail for us so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn that point cloud back on and we're going to do a tighter grid and then another thing I'm going to want to do is see these ponds um, I'm going to do a few of these where I'm going to draw a polyline uh, just kind of around this pond here and what we're going to be able to do is tell Civil 3D. Oh, should have been out there. Let's go ahead and close that guy. And let's go ahead and unload this guy. And there's our polyline. So let's say we'll do, um, let's say, a five foot grid for the rest of the surface. But in here, because it's a pond, I really want some detail. So I'm going to do like a half a foot. Uh, grid into that. So let's go ahead and turn the point cloud back on and let's go ahead and create a surface again from our point cloud. I'm just going to name it EG2. Go ahead and use the same style and we're going to go ahead and do a five foot grid this time. And we can see when I hit enter. 374,000 points, which is a little bit better. 
And here I can go ahead and add a selected area of a point cloud. And so what I'm going to do is so I can either specify a corner or I can do it from the point cloud polygon or polyline. So I'm going to do polyline. And I'm going to go ahead and select our polyline there. And what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and create another area. So this is our polyline area. We can see the name there. Let's say in this guy, I want to do, uh, um, let's do one foot. And we're going to go from 257,000 to 722,000 points. Go next, and let's go ahead and create this surface. So it's going to crank in the background, and while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and turn this surface off. And there we go. It's generating our contours, and now we have another surface, and if I unload the point cloud we could see here I we definitely still have some issues down here at the bottom of the pond um, but we can see the detail that we got those contours are way cleaner we can even see we got some cleaner contours on these other ponds um, here because you know the grid is going east to west north to south and this is kind of at a diagonal so it doesn't have uh, as good of contours as this one does. So we might want to do another polyline there. Here's the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and show real quick. I'm just going to draw a polyline around this pond. And we'll go ahead and add this one um, as well uh, to, our, to another surface. So let's go ahead and um, Turn the surface off. And let's turn our point cloud back on. Surface, surface from point cloud. Grab our point cloud. Do our style, and this is, we'll call this one uh, EG3. Next. Keep that five foot grid. And we're going to add polyline right there. Let's do a one footer there. And it's going to go ahead and run. And you see, we're, it doesn't really take that long. Um, compared to actually getting, you know, a multiple gigabyte surface from, you know, a, sur a survey company or wherever you get your LiDAR information from, this is definitely the most efficient way to, to get your surface contours and be able to manipulate the data. And so there we can see those contours are way cleaner because we did that one foot interval in there. I just wanted to show this workflow because it seems to be uh, something that a lot of people are getting stuck on. Again, if you have any uh, comments or questions about the workflow, uh, I'm also going to do another video on importing your LAS and LAZ files into Recap. Um, but these point clouds, once you bring them into Recap, you can see, I mean, I'm able to create the surface, keep the file size down, uh, but still get the data that I need. So if you guys have any other questions, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.